what are you up to? Oh geez, hey there Ashley. I'm just on the hunt for some native Minnesota animals, don't you know? Um, why are you talking like that? I just figured using a thick Minnesota accent might help me out. Uh, yeah, you don't need the, the accent to find animals, and we have Minnesota animals right inside Como Zoo. Really? Oh, that sounds so much easier. Let's go. Hey everyone, Anne over here at Como Park Zoo and Conservatory. Zoos are full of amazing animals from all over the world, and when people think of Como, they often think of our giraffes, lions, and gorillas. But Como Zoo has Minnesota animals too. They may not be as exotic, but they're just as amazing and special. Let's go meet some of the Minnesota animals that call Como Zoo home. Well, our first visitor might also win cutest smile contest. I'd like to introduce you to Tilly, the tiger salamander. Minnesota has six species of salamander, but tiger salamanders are the most common. They can be found throughout much of Minnesota in habitats like forests, wetlands, and swamps. Adults spend most of their time in burrows or under debris. In the wild, salamanders eat just about anything they can fit in their mouth. Lots of insects, snails, worms and slugs, and occasionally baby mice, snakes, and even other salamanders. She may not look like it, but Tilly is a fierce predator. Of course, her wild cousins also have to stay safe from predators like badgers, snakes, bobcats, and owls. That's why living in a burrow is such a good idea. Here at Como, Tilly has her own safe space, free from predators, with crickets and mealworms delivered just for her. She has her own pond and plants and dirt to bury herself in that she doesn't have to share with anyone. Salamanders like Tilly can live to be 15 to 20 years old, especially in human care when they have access to a vet and don't have to worry about predators. Like all amphibians, salamanders start life as a tadpole. You can tell salamander tadpoles apart from frogs and toads because they have external gills, sort of looks like little feathery arms coming off the side of their necks. The best time to see salamanders in the wild in Minnesota is in the summer after a rain. You can sometimes see them walking around. Let's take a closer look at my friend Tilly. Some of you may recognize our next Minnesota native animals. It's yellow Aunt Bee and Bogo, the American bison. Bison are native Minnesota animals, but unfortunately there are not a lot of bison left. That's because the bison in Minnesota have become extirpated, which is a fancy science word meaning locally extinct. Like all bison, the bison in Minnesota went extinct due to overhunting. Traditionally, bison live on grasslands and prairie. That's because they eat grass and lots of it. That's another reason why it's hard to bring bison back to Minnesota. We don't have as many prairie habitats anymore. At Como, our bison herd is fed hay, grain, and sometimes veggies like carrots for a special treat. In the wild, bison need to worry about predators like wolves, but here at Como, our bison really only need to worry about when their next treat will be coming their way. Even though bison are extirpated in Minnesota, you can see a small herd of pure bison at Miniopa and Blue Mounds State Park. This herd has come about from a partnership with the Minnesota DNR and the Minnesota Zoo. Zoos are doing amazing work in helping return animals to the wild. If you don't want to head to southern Minnesota to see the bison, you can swing by Como anytime to see them. The best time to see the bison at Como is after a fresh snow. Bison love snow. Check out this video of Bogo, Ompi, and Yellow playing in new snow. Our third Minnesota visitor once made a run for the state reptile of Minnesota. It's Will, the Blanding's turtle. Blanding's turtles are identifiable from other Minnesota turtles because they have a round shell with spots on it. The shell also has a hinge on the bottom, allowing them to close it a little bit. Blanding's turtles also have a yellow throat. 
Blanding's turtles are found mostly in the eastern half of the state in wetlands and marshes. In the wild, they eat aquatic insects and plants, small fish, frogs, crayfish, and berries. Here at Como, they are fed a special turtle pellet and fresh fruits and veggies. In the summer, they have their own personal turtle pond and backyard. Blanding's turtles are considered threatened with extinction in Minnesota. Como Zoo has to have special permission just to care for Will. Habitat loss is their biggest threat. In addition, it takes them a long time to reach maturity, 12 years or more, and then they don't lay a lot of eggs to improve the population. Cars are also a big threat to turtles like him, especially to adults going to lay eggs. But if a baby can make it to adulthood, they can live 70 years or longer. Scientists are even studying Blanding's turtles because they don't show a lot of signs of aging or growing old. What a cool turtle! Let's take a closer look. Our final Minnesota animals are some of our newer arrivals, gray wolves, Cerberus and Nikki. Cerberus and Nikki have been at Como since October of 2021. Gray wolves, sometimes called timber wolves, can be found in the northern part of the state. They are listed as threatened with extinction, but their populations are currently stable. Wolves are social, skillful hunters and can live in pretty much any habitat as long as there is food for them to hunt. Their main prey is usually large hooved animals like deer, elk, moose, caribou, and muskox. Here at Como, our wolves are kept together as a pack. Their habitat gives them plenty of space to explore and dig dens. Since Nikki and Cerberus are young wolves, you can often see them playing chase and wrestling. Minnesota has the largest population of gray wolves outside of Alaska, and we have always had a wolf population here, unlike in some states where they've gone extinct or had to be reintroduced. Wolves are very shy. It's almost impossible to see one in the wild, but luckily you can stop by any time at Como to see these amazing animals in person. They may not be as exotic as a lion, but Minnesota animals are just as amazing and special. Next time you visit Como, I hope you'll say hi to some more of your more local neighbors. <gasps> I see a chipmunk. Let's go say hi. See y'all next time. Chippy, wait up. Mm -hmm.